who stands to benefit from the opposition coming to power in Caracas and how? The same forces which benefited from controlling Venezuela prior to the revolution would benefit if the opposition were to return to power in Caracas. And those forces include the International Monetary Fund, U.S. industry and finance capital, particularly U.S. oil companies, which would gain control of Venezuela's vast resources, the number one oil resources in the world, also some of the largest gold deposits in the world and iron ore, all of the necessary minerals that we use in our industrialized society come from Venezuela and are bountiful in Venezuela. And there are plenty of foreign interests which would love to get their hands back on those on those resources. And then also, let's look at, for example, Ricardo Hausman, the individual who Juan Guaido appointed to represent his puppet shadow government at the Inter-American Development Bank. Ricardo Hausman is a professor at Harvard University and someone who worked in administrations prior to the revolution in Venezuela, high-level economic positions in, for example, the, the industries ministry, or I believe it was the national planning industry, actually. But he, or ministry, I should say, he is someone who went straight from Venezuela to go work for the Inter-American Development Bank, which is sort of the regional partner of the World Bank, the IMF. This is someone who believes in the the typical neoliberal IMF agenda of cutting social programs completely and uh, and using the wealth of the country to base it, and just shipping actually the wealth of the country outside of it into the hands of foreign corporations, foreign capital, and international groups such as the IMF. This is someone who was just dying to return to power in Venezuela and implement some of the reforms, the austerity that he oversaw previously in Venezuela, which led to some of the most intense economic suffering the country has ever seen without sanctions, right? He, they love to talk about suffering and, and act as though they care about the average Venezuelan now that they're sanctioning the country and actually strangling it, preventing it from accessing the outside world and the global market. But when Ricardo Hausman was was in power, nobody cared about the average Venezuelan. In fact, the poorest of the poor weren't even incorporated into society. And so it was the policies of Ricardo Hausman that led to inequality and to massive social unrest. There was this event, the Caracaso, which came at the end of the the neoliberal period when the government attempted to raise bus fares and just basic the the, the price paid for basic uh, commodities and this led to massive protests the 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 government unleashed the national guard on these demonstrators thousands of people were killed and it was that sentiment which actually led to chavez taking over democratically in, in 1998 because there was this desire in the country to restructure and actually build a country that was taking the wealth produced and stored in the country and investing it back into the people. But if people such as Ricardo Hausman were to return to power in Venezuela, it would only be foreign industry capital and the domestic oligarchy that would benefit. Those people over the years have been coming to Miami, Florida, as it seems more and more likely that they're not going to regain power in Caracas. And so they serve as this kind of extremely right wing Latin American base in Miami the way the Cubans once did, even though the younger generation of Cubans has grown up 
and is in favor of normalization and not as extremely right wing as their parents and grandparents. Now this new generation of Venezuelan right wingers, and they're really some of the nastiest, most vile people I've ever encountered in my life. Now they are building kind of a base in in Miami, Florida, and they would love to return to Venezuela and begin leeching the country once again if Guaido, meaning the United States and whoever else they put in power after him, were to take charge.